Hi, welcome to CG Taiwan video tutorial. Uh, my name is Emma Chen. And in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate you how to model this um, low polygon female model uh, from Character Studio. Um, uh, first, uh, you um, uh, download an uh, image reference from uh, uh, any resource, or for example, internet. Uh, such a uh, uh, suitable uh, female uh, image reference and uh, uh, create a, a single plane and uh, apply the uh, reference mi uh, image on this plane so um, like uh, this um, image reference I have uh, already loaded it and uh, uh, throughout this tutorial, I'm going to create a, a female iPad and uh, connect all this uh, body, uh, the bone part, and uh, uh, mer uh, uh, merge the vertices and uh, create this uh, um, uh, uh, single uh, poly mesh. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first, go to create panel and systems. Uh, click on the bipad and uh, change body type to uh, female. Uh, finger 0, toe length 1. Uh, click and drag. Okay, first first thing to do is to change the proportion of each uh, each bone um, to uh, to uh, to the proportion um, from the uh, reference image. So um, turn on the figure mode and then use the scale to uh, to scale each bone go to um, motion copy paste and uh, copy posture paste paste posture opposite copy paste So in this phase, you just um, adjust each each bone to um, uh, to uh, um, to uh, uh, appropriate uh, proportion uh, that uh, similar to similar to the uh, reference image. Paste. Okay, now the um, proportion are roughly 
um, match the reference image. And uh, uh, one thing you need to know is um, because this is a female figure, and uh, um, I think you um, better to not only change the proportion, but uh, uh, please pay attention to the um, uh, S shape of this female. So I'll make make her. Make uh, her body uh, with a uh, more pronounced um, um, breast or the button. So, so the model will looks more appealing. Okay. And the uh, one other thing to know, um, uh, because. Um, um, rotate the hand um, rotate the hand so um, therefore uh, it will be um, it will be uh, much much easier much easier to to do the texturing okay like so Okay, now we have uh, this uh, figure. Okay, now let's begin. Um, let's enter in the uh, second phase of uh, this uh, figure mo uh, female model. Um, Delete this uh, image uh, plan. We don't need it, and uh, I think we don't need this too. Okay. Uh, I think this is a little bit too large. Okay, let's uh, start from here. Uh, select the biped object. Select the biped object uh, spline two, convert it to edible, editable mesh, and um, um, because this is a biped uh, bone, so you have to after you convert it to mesh, you have to uh, use uh, the element to select and uh, detach as a as a in, uh, in independent object. Okay, I, I detach it, and now we did all the phase that uh, um, you don't need it. This uh, this phase, this two phase. Okay, same same procedure apply to spline one. Select it and convert it to edit editable mesh. Use element to select and detach as an independent object. Uh, face uh, select, face delete, and delete. Okay, now let's um, attach these two objects into one. Attach, attach. Change mode to um, go to two, um, two and uh, isolate selection, alternate, alternate, alternative queue, alt queue. 
and change mode to wireframe mode. Now you um, select the add the mesh and convert it to add add ball poly. Go to vertex level. Use the target wheel. Uh, target wheel. Target wheel. Target wheel. Wheel. Target wheel. Target wheel. Target wheel. Target wheel. Okay, deep the isolation mode. Change to smooth highlight. As you can see, very fast we create um, um, this um, this uh, body part. So let's continue. Um, select the bypass spline, convert it to add or mesh. Select face, we don't need it. Alt Q, isolate. Select this face, delete. Um, use element to select and detach. Select and uh, attach to the other upper part. So now th those two parts become one. Alt Q isolate. Same procedure. Use the um, first convert it to elliptical poly. <coughs> use vertice. Target wheel. Target wheel. Target wheel. Target wheel. Target wheel. Change to wireframe. Okay, now we finish this part.